Welcome back to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. It's about time to leave the diner and head to Levin Street, which is a couple blocks away. That's where we live, and we're hoping that Cheryl maybe has run back there. And also the cops said that they would meet us there after they take care of the call that they were called out on. Oh, and I discovered something out. I figured out how to look at mementos you've already collected. Yeah, I found the button to enter this menu. I love menus. Look at mementos. And there it is. This is such a cool aesthetic, by the way. Or like, I don't know if aesthetic's the right word, but this is such a cool thing. That all your mementos are stored in an actual physical box that when you go to look at them, you open it up to see all the stuff you've collected. Instead of just being a bunch of disembodied objects kind of floating in your inventory somewhere, your inventory is actually a physical thing. Now, of course, it's hilarious to think that Harry is just like going around just holding this box everywhere they go. <laughs> As if they've just been fired from their job and had to clear their desk or something. I don't know, it's a weird image, but still, really cool. It's so cool, I'm gonna do it again. That's so cool! It even makes that nice noise again when you put it back in the box, as if you just collected it. Apparently there's a bunch of hints, too. No reason to look at those. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Let's go outside. Oh, one last thing. Check out the sound work. Do you hear it? When Harry runs, you can hear their, I guess, like, keys jingling in their pocket. Or maybe like a, I don't know, some sort of a buckle on their jacket or something. It's really cool. The sound work in this game so far is very good. Oh, so we just go back? Here's phone as a map function. Check it to see where you are headed. Press left on the plus control pad to pull up the map. Left. Or access it from the phone. Oh, so there's a short way to access it. Left on the plus control pad. I don't know what that means. Left on the plus control pad. Let me see if I can figure it out. Aha! So it's just, it just left on the D-pad. Okay. I'm glad they put a shortcut for that, recognizing that you're probably going to want to access it all the friggin' time. Unfortunately, it just pulls up the small version. Which maybe is just what you need most of the time. Okay. Oh, wow. I can move while I'm looking at the map. In a super limited way, but yeah. Okay, well, uh, this door over here is black, just like the diner where I came from. Does that mean it's open? If it's black? New waypoint, 1206 Levin Street. Oh, it's just, like... Whoops. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I guess I've already been to these places over here, so it is pretty close to where I started. Weird jittering. There's a layer of reality that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Something is odd about the swing in this playground. Try photographing it with a cell phone. Echo photos. 
Oh. I guess we'll save it. The voicemail. Daddy, I need you. How come I didn't hear anything? That's weird. Am I supposed to not be able to hear it? Messages, playground. I think in the settings here, the speech volume, I turned it up from default. I'll turn it up all the way. I'm really dreading the first monster encounter. Because <laughs> I'm probably going to panic and just die because I won't know what to do with the controls. Also, I wonder if this game even has combat. I'm thinking it might not. That looks like a puzzle, maybe. Or maybe you just ignore it. Messages. Strong emotions have a habit of attaching themselves to objects. Something in this room is interfering with Harry's cell phone. Listen to the whine and hone in on the disturbance. Neat. Huh. Yeah, this is... This game is really innovative for the Silent Hill series. Doing all sorts of new stuff. It's probably the tape player here, right? Listen for the whine. Do I have have to have my phone out. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Maybe it's not the tape player. Am I supposed to have the camera out? I said in this room, so I don't think it would be in the staff room, but... Huh, what am I missing? Oh, I think I got it. Let me just test it out for sure by listening back to that message. We should now be able to hear the message from Cheryl. Yeah, there we go. And we also have phone sounds. And I hear a little bit of a sound in the background. That hiss or buzz that we're supposed to be hearing. Yeah, so I'd forgotten another thing. Kind of related to the controls, I guess. It, it is actually in the controls menu in Dolphin. Um, some part of the Wii control, I don't know if it's the nunchuck or the main Wiimote, it has a speaker in it. So some of the sounds, the listening to the message, the phone, and this hissing sound, basically everything that has to do with the phone, it seems like, is outputted through that speaker in the controller. So I just uh, checked a, an option in the Dolphin emulator that just, I guess, passes that audio data along to the main audio. So it all just comes out of the same speaker. Oh yeah, definitely hearing that. Is it that TV? Oh no. It's this TV, isn't it? So what did it say I needed to do with it? Was it take a picture? Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Just need to step a little bit closer. I wonder if I even needed my phone out. I maybe it didn't. Jesus Christ. We share a deep love. If we grow older together and the fires of our youth grow dimmer, our love will remain strong. Our passion undimmed. Our excitement only growing as we build our life together. So what was that about? I think this was the same TV that made some weird noise when we first came into this building. It's just strong emotions attach themselves to objects. Because that was just the strong emotion from somebody. I mean, these are all used things, right? Recon yeah, reconditioned, ex-rental bargains. So yeah, that was just with somebody and they had a strong emotion that attached itself to that object. I love that you can poke your flashlight around before you've opened the door completely. So you can be like this peeking in, like, uh, anyone there? And then if there is anyone in there, just slam it. So would there be... That must be ringtone 5. I would have been able to hear that if I had it enabled. From home. Cheryl? Daddy? Daddy? Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? Sweetie, wait there. Wait for me. What? Is somebody with you? Cheryl, I'm coming to get you. Damn it! Oh. Um, I think maybe I should go. Oh yeah, it's growing. Oh fuck, I can't go there. Uh. over. whole thing's just frozen over. Solid ice in front of the door, in front of... in front of or around almost anything. I'll go here. This looks like a I'm gonna run place. A long, basically, hallway. So it sounds like, yeah, you have to run, Daddy, is what Cheryl said. So I don't think you can fight in this game. That's interesting. That's a big change. Big if true. the exit. Run at the blue ledges that mark routes. Listen for the distortion that precedes danger. Find the exit to Levin Street and escape the nightmare. Okay. Blue edges mark routes. Distortion precedes danger. I should probably save it first. Let me just do a quick uh, save state. I guess I should... Well, if I've done a save state, I don't need to do a hard save. It's fine. Oh yeah, glance behind. There's this whole glance behind thing. It doesn't really work with my control scheme, though. 
I'm just gonna hope that that's not too important. You can actually move while doing it though, which is pretty cool. So you can just very quickly look behind you. But maybe it's better if we don't look behind us. Oh, staticky. Yeah, the static gear it gets, the more that VHS effect appears on the screen, and that means you're closer to danger, I guess. I can do this if I don't use the mouse, so I'm just like going straight, I can do it. I'm assuming they can't go through doors. Oh no, they can go through doors! <laughs> Wow, they can go through doors. That's so different. That is so different. Oh, fuck! Uh... They are many. They cannot be killed or hurt. Throw them off and run. Lose them. Find the exit and escape the nightmare. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I have to do to shake it off. Uh... Okay, I'm trying something. Uh... I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm doing something. I think I'm gonna die because I don't actually know how this works. Uh... So, like, both of them have to go forwards and backwards? Oof. Yeah. I'm gonna have to set a control for that. Let me just load that save state. Okay, I've assigned left and right arrow keys to... Well, one of them, I don't remember which one, to backwards for the main controller, and then the other one for backwards on the nunchuck. I don't know if that's gonna work. God, I hope so. Also, it looks like there's another way to go. I can maybe go up here, climb the wall. Let's try that instead. Oh! Mm. Mm. Maybe not the smartest way to go. Oh, please, I hope this works. I hope this works. Oh no, this is a- it's a different one! Oh. Okay, there's a section for the nunchuck and for the uh, main motion controller in Dolphin Emulator. There's a section for a swing, swinging in different directions. I think that's what I need to do. It looked like a swing was what it wanted me to do, not a tilt. So I've done went ahead and assigned that. I think I assigned the nunchuck to the arrow keys and then WASD while holding down the caps lock key to the main motion detector. So I'm just, I'm gonna be doing some weird controls. Let's hope this works. I'm gonna purposely get caught here. Okay, to the right. To the right, caps lock. Boom. Uh, fuck. Okay, so I need to explain what's happened. I'm recording this the day after everything that you just saw previously. So I continued trying to figure out if there's some way I can assign the controls so that I can throw off the enemies. I tried that for a long time, like half hour, maybe 45 minutes, and I couldn't find anything that allowed me to throw off the enemies. So then I started researching it online, looking at if there's some other way to do this that I'm missing, and I ended up spending like two or three hours researching the problem. I ended up discovering that there is, well, there was a way in the Dolphin emulator to play back recorded movements. So people could, and they did, I actually downloaded a bunch of recorded movements specifically for this game that somebody made. Somebody uh, used an actual Wii controller to record their movements, basically to do the thing that I want to do. They recorded that and then made that available in a file. And then there was a version of the Dolphin emulator that allowed you to play back those movements, which would have allowed me to press certain keys to throw off the enemies. Kind of janky and weird, but it would have worked. Unfortunately though, and this took me a hell of a long time to find out because there's like no information about it anywhere, um, this playing back of recorded movements appears to be a feature that only existed in Dolphin for a pretty brief amount of time. Sometime around 2010, which is, you know, eight years ago. I grabbed this recorded movement file, I put it in, and every guy that I was seeing was saying like, oh yeah, just go to the recorded movements thing in the Wiimote controls and just assign it to a key. I'm like, uh, that's not there? I downloaded like four different versions of Dolphin. Um, I'm running version like five something, which is the newest um, stable branch. And then they also have downloads for version four and version three and different variations of version four as well, like 4.0.2, blah, blah, blah. So I downloaded a bunch of them going back all the way to however old version three is many, many, many years. 
and none of those had the recorded movements either. Now I could try to find this magic version that supports recorded movements, but with it being eight years old, I have no doubt it's going to run funky and it's probably going to have all sorts of weirdness to it because Dolphins made some major improvements in eight years without a doubt. So I don't even really want to use an old version, plus I don't even know where to find it because the version is so old that it's not even available on the main Dolphin website. So I'm, I'm just thinking, forget that. I have settled on another option. Here's what I'm going to do. Don't get caught by monsters. Yeah, that's my solution. Just <laughs> if I don't get caught by monsters, I don't have to throw them off, right? I'm just hoping that there is no section in the game where you're like forced to throw off a monster where it's guaranteed to happen. As long as it is physically avoidable, I could just keep replaying sections until I don't get caught, right? All right, let's run. When I was testing this out, by the way, the monster locations kept changing all the time. It seems to be randomized or something. Um, Cause yeah, like before when I was playing, there was always an enemy right here, I think. Oh! Will they just go away if I wait here? Oh, <laughs> look at him through the ice. Think I'm okay? Sorta. As long as they're not in between me and the door. Let's do another save state and let's go. So there's a lot of hiding places, huh? Wait, is that a hiding place? What is... Oh, it wants me to do a movement to open the door. Well, that's not gonna happen. What is this? Oh, a flare. Light the flare with C. The heat will hold off the creatures while it lasts. Harry can also create a temporary barrier by throwing down a lit flare with plus. Okay, that's going to be super useful, my god. Um, C. C. I'm not 100% sure what C is, but let me just do a state save. Let's see. Let's see how long it lasts. Yeah, come on down. Okay, it works pretty well. They can still get pretty close to you, but... Well, this works for a long time, too. Okay. <laughs> now it's gone. All right. Oh, is that a ah, oh, fuck, that's a hiding place, fuck that. Oh no, I've gone in a circle! Yeah, being stealthy actually works pretty well. Just don't run. So I went through the door on the left, and that just took me back to where I started, so... Let's try... the door on the right. Ooh. That says exit. Oh, hi! No, this is back to the beginning too! I don't know, maybe... what's here? No, this is- this is backwards as well. Oh, this sucks.
Okay, this, I think this is it. Ah. <sighs> That's our home, Leffen Street. We're finally there. It's good that we touched on the car crash. That would have been a breakthrough before. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about family. It's important, right? I don't mean all that touchy-feely crap. You're not a very touchy-feely person. You're giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk, or not, or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's play true or false. Is it true to say you're a private person? Would you say it takes a while for people to get to know you? Uh-huh. People can choose their friends, but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Nothing surprising there. No. You're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. Okay. How, uh, can I erase? I can't. How does that work? Oh, you're getting color out of the lines. Uh, okay. Wait, back. Oh, no, that's just... You're finished? No, 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 no. All right, well, now that I've made a weird pink blob up there, um, this is very inexact. <laughs> I just don't want to draw. All right, this pencil doesn't work. Whoa. Okay, it was working, it just didn't show up. Okay, I just went into the dolphin settings and turned the texture cache safety to safe instead of the middle setting. There's three settings, basically fast, normal, which is what it was on, or safe. So I just set it to safe and I think that might fix my problem. Seems like it. I might fix some other things, too. Maybe there's some other invisible problems I never noticed. Anyway, so... This whole thing's red. Our house is, <laughs> our house is just red. <laughs> oh. You, I guess if you could... I, I mean, I guess if you wanted, you could spend time laboriously going over this to not really color outside the lines. It would be... Very frustrating, though. And if you make one mistake, you can't undo it. What happens if you paint over another color? Is it just replace it? Yeah, it just replaces it. So it's not like it makes a bunch of weird layers. Okay. Yeah. There. Beautiful work of art. We have a happy family of two blue people and a red house with a yellow door. You're finished. What a lovely family home. Is your home like this? And some interesting audio distortions, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi there. What are you doing in my house? I think you have the wrong address. No, this is my house. Who's that at the door, hon? Oh, hi there. What are you people doing in my house? This is our home. Oh, that is so cool. We've been living here for a long time. Isn't that right, Mike? 1206 Levin Street. My name is Harry Mason. This is my house. My daughter just called me from here. From here? Oh. Uh, that is so cool. Oh my god, I didn't I, I didn't know what he was gonna do that drawing. It created this house and these people out of that drawing. Specifically the color. These people are wearing blue. The front door is yellow. The house is red. I don't know if we saw the car. I, maybe I wasn't paying attention. I was worrying about the weird glitching audio, but I would assume it's probably green. That is so cool. Lucy, honey, you think perhaps our little princess has been up to her old tricks? We're sorry. Katie's been acting up. She likes to make prank calls. Prank call? Why are you playing games with me? Sorry for any upset Katie has caused. We'd like to help, but it's getting late, and... This doesn't make any sense. This is all wrong. Cheryl is inside, isn't she? The only thing that doesn't make sense is your being here. You're upsetting my wife. Why are you doing this to me? My daughter is in there! No, she's not. Please get off my property. Mr. Mason. Shit. A reported disturbance came through on dispatch. The address rang a bell. Yes, there's been a disturbance. There are people in my house. I think they have my daughter. Hell of an accusation. I know the couple who called this in. Mike Stewart is a doctor. He doesn't have your- You saw my license. This is my house. Let me see that license again. You had an accident. You know you're a little punch drunk, Harry. I can't raise the station on my radio. Let's go over there together and sort this mess out. Look, I'm sorry if I came across as a hard-ass before. There's a lot going on right now. I just bumped you up on my priority list, okay? Come on. Mind your head. <laughs> 